City Skylines is a lot of project from Paradox Interactive and Colossal Slaughter, and this is driven by passion as we try to bring the kind of games we loved growing up to a new generation of gamers. So one of the biggest challenges when you create a game at City Skylines is try to decide what to keep from the staples of the genre and what you want to change or improve on. City building games are always based on reality. Um, that is what actually inspires us to make these kind of games, seeing how city actually evolves, how citizens behave. It is really just trying to bring as much realism as possible, but making it more fun than it actually is in real life. Maybe this sounds kind of weird, but um, I've been working on the game now for almost one and a half years, and I still like to play it. I can watch the traffic in the city for hours. I think it's so hypnotic. One of the things with city builders is that it naturally make you creative because you need to solve the problems you yourself have created earlier in the process. So as your city grow in your own in the direction you decide, you'll find more and more complex challenges that you need to find a solution to. Doesn't mean you need to be a 3D artist or enjoy creating your own landscapes or buildings, but creating your own city is a creative process. The goal in City Skylines is to uh, grow the biggest, most optimal city you actually can. But how we see it is that you really get to uh, decide if you want to do that or not. We just really try to give options to you as a player to choose that maybe you want a smaller farm town and just run that as a mayor, or maybe you want to go for that million citizen metropole. It's pretty much down to what you want to achieve in the game. At the end of the day, Paradox Interactive and Colossal Order creates this game because we want you guys to play it and enjoy it. Just get a hold of us, tell us what you want and what you need from this game, and we'll try to do everything we can to make it happen. Uh, you can get a hold of us via Facebook, via Twitter, via mail, Reddit, Telegram, smoke signals. I think this is just a super amazing kind of community project. We currently have 13 people working uh, at the offices and we definitely, I love taking your feedback into account. And we do it as much as possible, but of course there are limitations. We had a blast creating it and we hope you really have a blast playing it and we'll release in 2015.